my YouTube channel and today I have decided to create some doggy biscuit treats with the hampers that I've made. Um, I'm only going to be doing it for one of the people who has a dog. I've decided to add a little treat in there as well. Um, I was going to just buy a basic treat but I decided to just make one and make it special and personalise it with his name on it. Instead of buying bone cutouts or a dog cut out for the biscuits I decided to just draw it on a little piece of paper he's a husky so I did like a little husky kind of hope that looks like a husky yeah and a little bone so I'll just be pressing it onto the dough and then cutting around it so I've done a lot of research into all the ingredients that I'll be using I'm using wholemeal flour egg water a little bit of baking powder some bacon only in very very small portions because it's high in fat high in salt and it can be very harmful for your dog if your dog eats bacon constantly all the time i took the fat off i didn't cook it in any oils and only added a little bit into the mixture so it's perfectly fine for the dog and it's not going to be harmful and natural peanut butter wholemeal flour is very beneficial for dog's health um eggs source protein, natural peanut butter, as I can't pronounce the word, but as long as it doesn't have this in the ingredients, it's fine because that is very toxic to dogs and any other animal, really. Peanut butter is good for dogs, but in like small amount, as long as you're not giving them the whole jar kind of thing. So just little bits. Baking powder. The dog is going to get into the tub and have the powder, then yeah, it can be very harmful because he's eating it um, in its purest form but a little bit is okay because it's being diluted within the mixture so it's perfectly fine and not harmful for dogs. I think that's it. I decided as well while I'm baking might as well do a little bit extra to give to the homeless people on the streets who have dogs as well. Uh, it's the season of giving guys. And when I bake my cookies and biscuits and my chocolate bark, I'll be carrying them around in my bag. Um, and if I see a homeless person on the street or uh, with the dogs as well, I'll just be handing them out and writing on ingredients in case, I don't know, they're allergic to nuts or anything like that. It's just, I think that the more you give, the more it's going to benefit you in life, really. And it just makes you a better person. And it just makes you... I don't know, just makes me feel happier, just giving. Let's get started.
I would definitely recommend getting a dog cutter because this is just it's leg fella. I'm just gonna stick with doing the bones. I am deciding to use cutters because this is gonna take forever. <laughs> pleased with how these are turning out so far. Last little bit of dough I had, instead of rolling it back out and only having like three or four uh, shapes out of it, I decided to just take off little bits and roll it up between my hands so there's more, if that makes sense. So it looks like there's more. Um, there are all the little snowballs. So I've made quite a lot of that, whereas if I still had the dough and I used the cutters to cut it out of it. Um, I would have only had about four or five um, shapes. Whereas these, they're just like little, nice bite-sized kind of things for the dogs. I made nine bags in total, but only eight of them are going to the homeless dogs. Yeah, I hope I've sort of encouraged you guys to do the same. Um, like I said it's the season of giving and yeah some people need a little bit of joy in their lives I just wish that I had this idea years ago when we had our little cavalier um she loved everything but she would have absolutely loved these little biscuits um but yeah so I think this is what I'm going to be doing every year a few times a year maybe just creating um some little doggy biscuits for the little doggies out there and the people can't forget about the people too <laughs>